do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. y'all we back with another big body banger you feel me listen today we have a sad story of a perfect relationship gone bad they literally had the perfect relationship the dream relationship that everybody wanted and then the wife decided to cheat we don't know why but we're gonna figure it out here but it's just that's just so sad like everything could be going right you could be doing everything right as a man you could be doing everything right as a woman and the other person just cheats like that's just so freaking sad. But we're finna watch this video. Smash the like button to stop yourself from ever being cheated on. That's not a guarantee. It's just a little bit of an extra pedazzle in your life to evacuate all the cheaters. But uh, yeah, without further ado, man, let's just hop right into this. I had a perfect life and my wife cheated. I married my best friend last year. Bet. We've been together for eight years and it's been the most amazing and fulfilling. I know why she cheated. He made her wait seven years to get freaking married. Speed it up, busto relationship I've ever had. We had the perfect life, we have the cutest little puppy, and she's the most loyal and loving little creature I've ever met. We've been saving for a house in our dream city, and we were just about ready to pull the trigger this year. We were planning to adopt afterwards. We finally paid off all our student loans. We have amazing friends and hobbies that we're both passionate about. We did everything together. Dates multiple times a week, Dang. every weekend for sure and usually a few during the week as well. Road trips and vacations and events. We stayed up late every night cuddling and talking about our future together. We have a million little inside jokes and we sent flirty texts to each other all day. We had an amazing S life. Every one of our fantasies, every day, often multiple times a day, we made it through graduate school and the pandemic and all sorts of other tumultuous life events together. I work from home, and I took care of all the house chores so she didn't have two. I took care of the dog, I did the training and the walking and the feeding so that she wouldn't have that extra stress. I make four times her salary so that she can work her dream job, which doesn't, by itself, make enough to pay rent etc. Since we're in NYC, I've never complained about any of this, and being able to do all these things for her always made me so proud and happy. <laughs> you make four times her salary? <laughs> What the heck does she do? Her dream job is a cashier or something? What the heck? It's either what does she do or what do you do? <laughs> I need a little dollar donation. So that she could fulfill her own professional dreams. And she still cheated on me. She cheated with a co-worker she's only known for a few months, who is way younger than her, and who is her subordinate at work. I told her I would be willing to work through it in therapy together, that I could forgive her because Bugging, our life tweaking, was... Tweaking, 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 tweaking. Bugging, tweaking, tweaking, bugging. No working through it. She cheated on... A man that was doing everything, from what he said, I'm sure there are some other stuff that he's probably missing out on or something, you know what I'm saying? But from what he said, he sounds like a freaking, it sounds like a perfect relationship. They was clapping multiple times a day, or at least multiple times a week, that's great, you know what I'm saying? Check. Deep, long conversations, freaking check. Vacations all the time, check. He was paying all the freaking bills, making four times her salary so she could work whatever trash job she wants to work that doesn't pay enough to pay rent, Check. He was doing all the house chores at home, taking care of the freaking doll while you're at work getting clapped by your coworker. Check. <sighs> great friends, great hobbies. They always did stuff together. They all went on dates, not just on the weekends, but during the week as well. Check. Then she cheats on you with her coworker. And you say we can work through it. Yeah, I'll work through a bunch of things, but trust me, this relationship ain't it. You know what I'm saying? So amazing. And she told me she was so sorry and would do anything to make things right, that she had never meant to hurt me. But I found out last week that she is still cheating on me with him, and when I confronted her, she became unrecognizable. She was verbally abusive, and yelled at me, and told me that she had never loved me or our puppy. She told me- Still doing it. <laughs> this gotta be a freaking joke. This has to be a freaking joke. This has to be a freaking, freaking, freaking duping joke. It has to be. This is no way. This is no that way. She had just been using me no all way. That she had this never meant no to way. hurt me. But I found out last week that she is still cheating on me with him. And when I confronted her, she became unrecognizable. She was verbally abusive and yelled at me and told me that she had never loved me or our puppy. She told me that. What? What? I, wait, what, what did the puppy do? What, what did the puppy do? Why did she yell at the puppy? What did she, why did she say she never loved the puppy? Is the puppy ugly or something? And how you say you never loved this person? You've been dating for old D long and married. You've been dating for eight years and married for one year. How do you say you never loved this person? What? What's going on here? Something's some not adding up. That she had just been using me all along and now that she'd found someone else, she didn't need me anymore. 
and that she didn't feel any remorse or guilt and had only pretended to apologize when she got caught the first time so that she could keep using me for money. Dang! I should be angry, but I just feel so sorry for her. I'm still going to have an amazing life. I took our dog, my dog now I guess, and moved out. I'm still going to be buying that house, alone now, all my friends, also our friends, and even her friends have been so supportive. Even her family has been so supportive of me, she's losing a lot of friends, she's losing me, her best friend, at the very least, she might lose her job, she can't afford rent where she's living either way, she always liked expen- You gotta be freaking kidding me. All of this for some co-worker pee-pee? For some work pee-pee? You lost everything. This gotta be a joke. This has to be a joke. She talking about she was using, I can see the using part. Maybe she was using him. Cause he was, that's what it was, he was doing too much maybe. Maybe he was doing too much. He was doing everything for her. So he, she, it would be unsmart for her to leave. Bills paid. Vacations. She can do whatever the heck she wants to do. She don't got no house chores. She don't got to take care of her dirty dog that she don't love. She had everything for her. She, there was, it was not, it's just not a smart business move to leave. Okay. Expensive shoes and clothes and hobbies and going out to eat. And now she can't have any of that. It just doesn't make any sense to me, but she doesn't return my calls anymore. So I guess this is it. I'll never understand what happened or why she gave up on our life together out of nowhere like this. Update, we had a perfect life and my wife cheated. As many of you predicted, she tried to come back, multiple times in fact, the last two months have been insane in a lot of ways for me, I encouraged her to see a therapist, and she was diagnosed with a personality disorder. She didn't tell me the specifics, but my own therapist suspects borderline you personality. You can't, you can't go ahead with the whole I'm crazy thing. You're not finna come at me with the crazy thing. He was very sane our entire eight year relationship. Then all of a sudden you're crazy. You schizophrenic and you bipolar. No, you're just stupid. You have a stupid disorder. Stupidity. The disorder for what it's worth. I still love and care about her so much that every time she called me sobbing, telling me she hadn't meant it and would do anything to make things right again. I fell for it and told her I would help any way I could. In what? retrospect, it was so bizarre and entrancing. Seeing these glimpses of the person I used to know, reaching back out to me in such obvious pain, and so every time she told me, stone-faced, a few days after apologizing, that she hadn't meant the apology and had only said it to manipulate me, and had faked the tears, it hurt so much more, having just seen these glimpses of the wonderful person I knew for eight years. What? I got so lost in trying to help her during these isolated moments of normalcy that I lost track of how many times she abruptly switched her entire attitude towards me, it was only recently that I went back and counted. 15. 15 times that she switched between telling me that she loves me and had learned from her mistake and couldn't wait to hold me again and telling me that she had no regrets and had you never fell for it 15 times this guy is stupid how does he make so much money four times her salary he's freaking stupid what the heck ever loved me and that she had only ever been manipulating me at one point during one of her days of normalcy she told me that when she thought back on how she had treated me, she felt like she had been kidnapped by aliens and replaced with a body double, like she had been watching an evil version of herself destroy my life. Now she's claiming the, the, the possessed thing. Now she's claiming the possessed thing. While she watched helpless from space. And then when I called her a few days later and she started yelling at me for not being good enough and telling me that she was busy with her affair partner, who she had sworn she was done with just two days before, I reminded her of her alien story. She told me that she didn't remember telling me that, that she would never say something so dumb. But if she had, it would have only been to manipulate me. I've never been a victim of abuse before this, so it took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit to realize what she was doing to me. I always thought when I saw other people being treated so poorly, wow, I would never let that happen to me. But when I was actually in that situation, all I could think of was how I could help her. I always try to see the best in people. And as far as I know, this is the first time someone who is close enough to me to know that has purposefully taken advantage of it to keep hurting me with no intention of stopping. It still feels so strange, like I hallucinated the last eight years of my life, but I filed for divorce this week. I didn't respond to her last call. You just now filed for divorce? This is crazy. This whole thing is crazy. I know exactly how it would have gone. The apologies, swearing she would make things better, that she loves me so much, and then a few days later, the shouting and the abuse and telling me that I wasn't good enough for her and that she had never loved me. So, uh, what I've seen here. She is demonic and possessed. But we, that can't be an excuse, no. Because she wasn't demonic and possessed them seven, eight years that they knew each other. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know here. I'm confused as to what where I'm going with this one. I feel super... The relationship seemed actually freaking perfect in the beginning. I think what actually ended up happening is her co-worker is a, is a warlock. And he put a spell on her. And turned her crazy. 
And then that's how she got like this. Because she was fine up until she got with that coworker. That's what it seemed like. It was perfect. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was literally living the dream life. And then she got with the coworker and she just, she got schizophrenic and bipolar and all that. Something not, I don't, I'm pretty good at math, but something here is not adding up at all. It had, she had, she probably got poisoned. You know, she could have got some laced. The, the coworker could have laced her, her drink or something like that and laced it with something that gives you that. I don't think nothing gives you bipolar this though. I don't freaking know. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm like, what the heck do you all think happened to her that made that switch happen? Or was she like that the whole time, just hiding it the whole time, securing that bag? You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm like, this is a freaking crazy story. I don't think I've ever heard a story this crazy about cheating. From perfect to demonic. <laughs> That's the title of this book. I'm about to write a book, From Perfect to Demonic. That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, smash the freaking like button. And if you like this video and you like crazy videos, you like entertaining videos, how it's just you watch this video right here. I'm not going to spoil it. Just know when Juvier suggests you watch something, watch it. It's right there. That's about it, though. I'm going to see y'all out.